Welcome back, everyone. In this video, we show you around Lago Atitlan in Guatemala. So Lake Atitlan was pretty high up on our list of things we wanted to see and do, as I'm sure it is for many other travelers. We're staying at a place called Pasa Cap Rentals. Uh, they primarily have beautiful, beautiful houses overlooking the lake with infinity pools and gorgeous view of the volcanoes on the other side of the lake. But they also have uh, provisions for a few overland rigs like ours, which has been really nice uh, to have a uh, base camp to hunker down while we explore the other villages around the lake. So there's lots of warnings online and on iOverland that the road down into San Marcos uh, is very steep with lots of switchbacks and uh, if you're a big heavy truck you could burn up your brakes coming down. So uh, we took that advice to heart and put her in low range and uh, just used the engine braking on the way down. Got down here without too much hassles uh, and then a few tight turns through some small towns to get to where we are now. Uh, you wouldn't want to be in anything bigger than this, in my opinion, getting through those towns. Um, just very tight corners and, uh, yeah. you, you know, tight, narrow streets. So, as you may have guessed from our long drought on videos, we have been busy. Uh, we have been filming all around the lake and we thought it would be better to do one all-encompassing video of the highlights that we've seen. Yeah, we met a couple uh, here named Jan and Bill, and they've been vacationing at Lake Atitlan for the last eight years, uh, for three or four months at a time. So they've had lots of time to tool around the lake and uh, give us some really good suggestions on the sorts of things we might like to see. Uh, also, they uh, suggested that we get a private boat and uh, take a, a chartered boat to some of the little pueblas that aren't uh, normally serviced by the boat system around here. Uh, and they were big into hiking, like I said, and they took us on some hikes uh, through coffee, coffee plantations and uh, to other little pueblos in the area. First thing on the list was our hike to Habalito, and the only way to get there is to take the little trail beside the lake or to take a water taxi. And water taxi is the common way to get around the lake. It is about 10 quetzales to hop from town to town, and if you want to go all the way across the lake, it's 20, which is about $2.50. Um, so when we did the hike, we walked there and we boat it back, um, but it's a gorgeous hike yeah, right we, beside the lake. We uh, crossed paths with uh, several of the local ladies in their beautiful handmade gowns, hauling more wood than I would want to haul on my back, and then uh, stopped at a great restaurant. Uh, some fellow named Hans from Germany uh, came here years ago and set up his little restaurant in the forests of Guatemala somewhere. So that was a nice treat. So Bill and Jan told us it's tradition to go to church on Sundays. Uh, so we took a water taxi a few times to San Pedro. Uh, they've got a place called Smoke and Joe's Barbecue. It's a, kind of an American style barbecue joint that does uh, smoked pork and ribs and chicken and steaks, I guess too, mm -hmm. big hamburgers. We did do a members only video on that. If you're interested in a member, you can click up here, check that link out. One of the most iconic things we want to see in Guatemala was the Semana Santa procession in Antigua. Uh, unfortunately, we had it on pretty good authority that due to COVID, it was cancelled yet again this year. Uh, but we did get word that it might still be happening in some of these little pueblas around the lake. So we gave it a shot in San Juan and lo and behold, when we got there, uh, they were just starting to lay these carpets out on the street. Semana Santa is the Easter festival where the cobblestone streets are laid with carpets that adorn the processional route and it begins at the church and passes through the main streets of town. Residents begin early in the morning by laying out these beautiful carpets, usually made from pine needles, fruits, flowers, and other native plants to create a beautiful, fragrant carpet.
In more recent times, the carpets are made from dyed sawdust and templates made from thin wood or cardboard. The carpet's designs reflect the Mayan tradition, biblical symbolism, and scenes from nature. And all the time, the detail to attention and the work that goes into making the carpets is considered to be sacrificial, as once the procession passes, it is all trampled and destroyed. It seems to us that certain families are responsible for sections of the route where it passes in front of their house or business. The style or pattern of the carpet changes periodically every few hundred meters and we were very happy to be invited to participate in laying down a few sections of the carpet. Unfortunately, we were unable to see the procession in the evening because the last boat to pass a cap was at 5 p.m. But we still got to be involved with putting it together and we still got to see it all happening. So we were pretty happy with that. Yeah, for sure. Next, my most favorite thing, coffee. Bill and Jan suggested a hike where we commission some tuk-tuks to take us to the next town, where we then jump in the back of a pickup truck, collectivo, and uh, head up the mountain, switchbacks to Santa Clara, and then hike along the ridge, and then down the mountain through all the coffee plantations, or coffee fincas, mm -hmm. coffee farms. And uh, we were very lucky because the coffee trees, or shrubs, were all in bloom, which is only a three-day event uh, for harvest. They're only blooming for three days, and uh, it was a real treat. We got to taste some of the coffee cherries, and uh, you know, spit them out and find the little beans inside. And then from there, we hiked all the way to the bottom to San Juan, uh, where we had a uh, lunch at a, a little seafood place uh, but the video speaks for itself Kara did a great job putting this together so let's roll that beautiful bean footage flowering and it's only gonna have flowers for three days and then it's done for this year. Let's see. But the fruit is very uh huh. Yeah sure. Might as well. Alright, here we go. I don't know why they said people hate rice. Oh, do 
Oh. Hmm. The peel is a bit bitter. So mm -hmm. But the fruit is good. Hmm. Cool. That's fun. That ridge is where we came from. All the way down the mountain, all the way through the coffee fields, and we're back in town. All right, here we are in the town of San Juan. Gonna go look for some lunch. We started way over there this morning and then tuck tuck around here and then taking the truck up here and then hiking up to there. So have mixed everything. Um, Cameron is uh, shrimp, shrimp, shell. fish. fish. What is concha? What's concha? Shell. Shell. <laughs> oyster. Okay. Oh, yeah. oyster. Oyster. The caracol is snail. Snail. Well. Octopus, I'm assuming. Yeah. Yes, yes. And which one's this? Hello. Crab. Oh, you have like a whole fish. Mm. Yes. Ish. It's a whole fish. Now. Wow, with the head and everything. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it's not. Um, how does it taste? Not very... Like, like mud? Tasty. Mm. How are you rated on a scale of 1 uh, to 10? 1 to 10. Wait, wait. 1 to 37. Yeah, 1 to 37. 1 to 5. 1 to 5? 1 to 37. 1 to 37. Still 1.5. Oh, what? <laughs> 9, 1.5. <laughs> One, ah, okay. One point. I know. Um, On a scale from one to thirty-seven, it's <laughs> ten, fifteen, fifteen. Mixto ceviche. Looks medium. great. That's the medium. On a scale of zero to thirty-seven. Yep. The spicy ceviche. It's spicy. Yeah, it's spicy. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 35, 36 for sure. Wow. Yeah, it's really good. Wow. Yeah. Nice. But clearly, if we want to see the whole lake, we are going to have to speed things up a little bit. So we had a young guy recommended to us that could take us around the whole lake. Yeah, normally the, there's a bunch of little towns around the lake that don't have a normal boat schedule where the the what do they call it? Launches that go from town to town picking people up. Don't stop at these little towns. And so uh, we called him up on WhatsApp and uh, arranged for him to come the next morning and take us all around the lake. We gave him a little itinerary of the highlights of places we wanted to see. And then uh, we split the cost with Abuda and Anna, our friends you'll see here shortly, and then uh, arranged for him to pick us up the next morning. I'm stressed. <laughs> Yeah. We never tried to fly the drone on water. Do you want to wave at the drone? Huh? Smile and, and wave at the drone? Oh, yeah. Like the Titanic girl? What's your name? Our first stop was Santiago Atitlan, which is directly across the lake from where we're staying. And when we arrived at the dock, we were met by Miguel, who offered us a tour around the town at a price that we couldn't say no to. This is our guide for the day, Miguel. He's gonna show us around Santiago Atitlan, and we're gonna go see a couple of cool things. Mushiman. Mushiman, the viewpoint, the peace, the memorial, the civil war, the wash and the clothes laundry. And the church. All right. Yeah, they finish the tour. Possibly the walking and down for the market. Okay. Possibly a small market today. <laughs> All yes? right. Welcome to Santiago. Thank you. Thank you. Uh, two volcanoes, San Pedro, 
is 3,020 meters, the sea level. Yeah, the, the lake, the limit is in here. Uh, 18 kilometers one way, the Panaha Island here, wow. and the limit the lake, and uh, 130 kilometers for square. And dif different fishing in the lake, possibly today is only four more. Uh, one is tiger fish, this important tiger fish is big fish. Uh, Mohara is native, it's original in the lake. Mohara and tilapia. This is important god in Santiago. The name is Mashimon. The name important in Santiago is Rilachmam. This is uh, the grandfather. It's for respect. Yeah. Ah. For example, this family in here is not live in Santiago. The grandfather, this one, is not live in Santiago. It's not in here. A different family in here, the state in here. As for one ceremony, possibly for money, for love, for, I don't know, for business, for help, for different tra uh, petition. Two days, three days in the lake. No, only one day. No, um, maybe two months. Two months. Thank you so much, you, <laughs> uh, for the visit, Santiago. I love you, Santiago. Thank you so much for you, the people. I, I my cousin. Gracias. Okay, that was Santiago. Atitlan. I hope you guys found it interesting. El Capitan is warming the boat up. And now we head for the next town, the name of which I do not remember, but we will find it shortly. Hola, Captain Nicholas. Todo bien. 
The next stop on our list was San Antonio Palopo, a town best known for its blue ceramics and its distinctive style of clothing. Are you getting emotional? No. Are you crying? No. Maybe a little. Backpack, I feel like I could take out a whole, a whole row. So this place is known for the blue ceramics. Azul. Nothing in the truck that could break. <laughs> so you have that policy too? I think, I think these go with our truck decor. <laughs> we don't have a decor. Like these, Kevin. Ayi. Quanto costa? Next, we stopped at Santa Catarina Palopo for a quick little snack and to tour the town, which is known for its beautifully painted buildings. Santa Catarina, possiblemente some lunch. Okay, we're tied on. Hey, bonito. Gracias. Yeah, the place is great. Okay, let's see. Drinks. Mm. Mm -hmm. Salads. And suppers. Okay. <laughs> Gracias. All right, looking good. Some little shrimpies. Fried banana or plantain? Uh, platanos fritos. Platanos fritos. <laughs> Whatever. <laughs> okay. Okay. Looks I good. I think it is. Uh... <laughs> Mm. So we just had an awesome meal here. Now we're gonna go explore town. And this town is known for its beautifully painted houses. Mm. 
There's a reason that I like you That I write you all these love songs But when I close my eyes I get lonely when I can Take my hand and reach you To remember how I found you When you're here I'm stronger than I am And I keep writing music Sometimes it makes me happy Sometimes it makes me mad But I haven't lost it yet Next stop was Panahachel, or Pana, as the locals call it. And uh, we wanted to go to the little nature preserve reserve there. And uh, they have a butterfly uh, exhibit dome with uh, many different varieties of butterflies in there, as well as a monkey exhibit. Uh, so we wanted to check that out. But uh, first we had to get from the boat dock to the nature reserve. Hey man, a oh, no, we have one like this. One we got one for a birthday gift. Really? Yes, wow. really. Really. There's two over here. Necesito dos. Okay. Where are you going? Uh, Eco Parco Ecological. Reserva Titan. Reserva, yeah. We can do three and one in front. Quanto cuesta? Ten per person. Voy para la Thank you, Racing that was fast. You need a turbo though. <laughs> <laughs> All right, we are at the Eco Park. Which one are you, the Yeti? I'm the Yeti. Okay. Yeti, Playa. Except he's 8,400 K from here. What? It's False long advertising. Long hike. Okay, we won't do that today. Monkeys, butterflies, all sorts of gorgeous things. Card number two. <laughs> so much happening today. It's an exciting day. Okay. Into the butterfly dome. <laughs> okay, go for it. No letting out the butterflies. Oh, wow. wow, okay. Hello, little guys. How you doing? He definitely looks like eyeballs. Watch out for them on the ground. What do you think? Do you think our viewers love to see butterflies? I hope we can <laughs> capture what we're seeing. If you haven't seen our last butterfly video, go check it out. Oh, wow. This guy is, this is a see-through butterfly. Oh, that's wild. Oh, you can see right through him. Incredible. To the monkeys. <laughs> oh man. This is um shockingly bouncy.
nice to see them in a semi-natural habitat and not in a glass box. We're down at the Eco Park and we're just heading to Hotel Atitlan. This place is fancy, guys. I don't even know what to order. Uh, it is amazing. Yeah, surf and Whoa, that what? looks great. Yeah, yeah. Surf and yeah, Surf and Surf and turfer. Surf and turf. Yeah. Not me, I just want to be included. I have fish. <laughs> it's that good? That is one of the best shrimp in recent history. Ooh. Wow. So definitely uh, 37, right? <laughs> Very good. Mm. Mm. 36 and a half. Whoa, that's the highest rating we've ever had. Mm. I gave it a 37. Well, from her. No. Yeah, from <laughs> You know, I was like always under 30. <laughs> so <laughs> really that's good. pretty good. Really good. Wow, that looks so good. So, as you can tell, we kind of ran out of time in Pana. Uh, after the wildlife sanctuary, we went to the Hotel Atitlan, had a beautiful supper. Uh, but after 10 hours of jumping from boat to boat and town to town, uh, capturing video for you fine folks, we were just knackered. So, time to head back. Uh, speaking of fine folks, check out this list of fine folks. These are our YouTube uh, channel members. Their support allows us to sit in the truck and edit videos for hours and hours and hours on end. Uh, we realize it's the support of uh, those who can that make it possible for us to make videos for everybody who can't. So thank you guys very much. Uh, why don't the non-channel members amongst you pick one of these names and thank them down in the comments below. Uh, we sure appreciate you guys. And thanks so much for watching. We'll see you next time. Bye. Okay, just want to remind everyone to subscribe to everlanders.com and uh, leave a comment down below what you thought of the video. Thank you. Gracias. <laughs> Gracias. Nicely done. <laughs>